welcome to another episode of COD Psychology in which I glibly discuss aspects of human behaviour that relate to gaming and YouTube. The last couple of episodes on arguing and depression got loads of interesting comments which I absolutely loved. Um, Thank you for those. I've been away this week but now I'm back and I'm bringing what I hope will be an interesting topic, anger. So first of all let me just say this is a free-for-all scavenger gameplay. If you've never played free for all this way what you do is whenever you kill someone you pick up their gun or whatever gun is next to their corpse and you carry on then with that gun and when you kill the next person you swap to that gun and so on and so forth and you see if you can do it for a whole matches it's loads of fun if you're looking for something different to do anyway um this is a huge topic anger and it's a short video so i'm, I'm just going to cover anger in relation to gaming and in particular in relation to call of duty only it's not anger, is it? If if you get angry playing COD, you're raging, or you mad bro, or whatever. We've all had those horrible games when you, you do find yourself getting angry, actually angry at a video game. I want to look at why we get angry, how we react when we get angry, and if we can actually use this anger. First off, why we get angry. Usually it's frustration, isn't it? It's things going wrong that are out of our control, or that seem out of our control. Things like a bad connection, being made host for the 23rd time in a row and strangled by lag comp, while your enemies pirouette around you, endlessly shoving their pixelated gentleman's area in your face. That's that's personal issues there. Or it could be other players. It's either the enemy camping with riot shields and trophy systems in dark, sweaty little corners. Or it's your teammates being about as useful as a nipple on a panda. I don't know what that means. Sorry, pandas. (laughs) I remember one game of domination in Modern Warfare 3 where I was playing with random teammates and we all spawned. I ran on to A. They ran off around the side of the map. It's all right, I thought. It's all right. They're rushing B. Great tactics. But they didn't. Not a single one of them. All five of them stood on either side of the map sniping. I went to B. I blew myself up with C4 and I left. Anyway... (laughs) It's the frustration of not being able to fix your problem, having to battle something that cannot be overcome, that makes our inner child come stomping down the stairs, slamming doors and shouting, It's not fair! And that's when we get angry, because it's not fair, it's just not fair, and we can't make it fair. It's like being stuck in a corner, and you really want to punch your way out. So, how do you react when you get angry in a video game? This varies hugely depending on the person. It depends on their personality, it depends on their mood, the amount of alcohol they've consumed, the type of alcohol they've consumed, and their level of psychopathy. It's usually one of three things. One, we quit the game. Two, we quit and we throw a poor innocent controller around. Three, we quit, we throw a controller around, and we send an angry, misspelt message see level of alcohol consumed, to anyone we think might remotely be at fault for our misfortunes. I'm a quitter, to be honest. If I get angry, I quit. I've never thrown a controller. I've never sent an angry message because controllers cost too much money to be worth destroying because of some knob in a video game and because I've got too many angry messages myself to ever send one. I know all they do is make people either feel attacked or amused. And much as you might annoy me in Call of Duty, it's not worth me being a knob to you. Especially when you'll probably turn out to be 12, because your mum will beat me up. I know plenty of people who throw controllers and send angry messages, many of whom are my friends. So I don't go thinking I'm judging. Some of my best friends are knobs. It happens. We're humans, not robots. And sometimes we all act like we're half our actual age. But the end result of doing either of these things is a momentary feeling of satisfaction a little moment of release and retribution, but it's tinged with a bit of shame sometimes. When your controller is smashed to bits and you have to explain to your other half why you are, you might just need to borrow their controller for a tinsy bit. And also, could they maybe just let you pop on to Amazon for a second? Not for any reason. No, nothing's wrong. Or you get a message back from the person you attacked that just says, you mad bro, and you realise you have just fallen right into their trap. So, is there another way? A way we can use anger better? A way we can use it productively to get satisfaction? Why, yes, there is, Grasshopper. (laughs) Harness your anger. If you watched my video on fighting depression, you'll know I like anger. I use it as energy. 
a resource to kick ass. Same thing in gaming. If you're getting angry because of lag, admittedly, there is not much you can do. I would suggest turn the Xbox off and dance around to some buzzcocks for a while. Sorry, I was listening to Operator's Manual at the time I was making notes for this commentary. I'm sure other musical artists are available. Or, if you haven't reached that meltdown point where you need to quit, go stupid, go knife only, level up a gun you find impossible to use, dolphin dive before every kill, whatever. If you know it's going to be hard anyway, then the lag won't matter so much. It's just another layer of impossibility. But if it's the enemy making you angry, if they're camping in corners, or it's your teammates making you angry because they're rubbish and they're not playing the objective, harness that anger and use it as fuel. Convert it to energy and focus. Focus it into a nice cold rage and a drive to win. Don't react to their tactics. Play smarter, play faster and beat them. That is always the best revenge. Don't get mad get even. If you get mad, they win. If you focus, if you use your anger as a spur to play smarter and more tactically, you win. And I think this applies to life in general as well. I don't think anger is a negative thing. A lot of people will say that anger is a negative thing. It's not. If you think about it, if we never got angry at injustice, injustice would remain. Anger is necessary. Anger is fuel. It's a way to drive forward and to solve problems as long as you don't let it control you, as long as you use it as a spur to spur you onwards as a fuel rather than as a way of behaving. Don't let your anger take you over and you will do well. (laughs) You will beat your problems. You will use it as a fuel. If you let your anger take you over, if you let it control you, then you're not going to get anything done. Um, Then it's all going to be like an emotional kind of reaction with no thought behind it and you're not going to get anywhere this is the key kapowie so (laughs) let me have your thoughts what makes you angry in gaming how do you react when you're angry how many abusive messages have you sent to 12 year olds also if you would let me know if there's if there's any topics in particular that you would like me to cover uh the ones i'm thinking of at the moment are things like perception and image discipline and self-discipline uh responsibility jealousy jealousy will be a good one eh? Uh, (laughs) happiness as opposed to joy and contentment and maturity um i'll put those in the description let me know which one you'd like me to cover next all right chaps uh thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it hit the like button if you did hit the dislike button if you didn't because it still gives me a view i honestly don't care i love you bye